Thanks, Charlie. Well, I mean, the home straight in terms of action this afternoon. Just four more scheduled final bouts here in ring A. And this one is going to be really interesting indeed. You can hear the crowd and see them on your screen behind us. The level of noise has gone up a little bit. It's a youth. A class 75 kilo middleweight bout. Benjamin Whitaker from Wodensboro in the red corner. Lewis Richardson from Centurions in the blue. Ben Whitaker, somebody, John, that we've really got our eye on for the future. He is someone on the radar. He is one of the top, well, one of the top youth boxers in England at the moment. He actually won the England Boxing Youth Championships and got a silver medal in the, in the GB Three Nations. Just 18 years of age. Six foot three, six foot four. Super athletic physique and really long arms. And, uh, just to think, he's come up from welterweight as well. He's and he's very tall middleweight. Just giving us a little smile there. He seems to really enjoy it when he's in the ring as well, which is nice to see. But he'll want to impress because top English youth boxers they've got the youth Commonwealth Games coming up in Somalia this year they're all they'll be finding out who's selected for that soon so obviously Ben Whitaker has got a rival on the England squad alone Zach Chetty who he beat in the England Boxing Champions but then beat him in the GBs and meanwhile Lewis Richardson in the blue corner from Centurions and this is terrific yeah. stuff, John. Sorry to interrupt. Terrific stuff. And Whitaker there, you're saying he wants to impress. And some of the shots he was landing, long single shots, leading with the right hand and then pulling his head out of range. Very, very impressive in this first round. And Richardson has won a gold medal at the Harringay Box Cup last year, so he's not an easy opponent. Richardson uh, Southport leading with that right hand hasn't really been able to land a lot and applause as that one clubbed in but I think really it came largely off the gloves a nice lead from Whitaker there as well oh that's terrific stuff Whitaker throwing those shots in the first phase pulling his head back then throwing another counter so stuff they teach at the podium squad, the GB amateurs fighting in phases. It's uh, really quite advanced stuff and really nicely done as well. He's been leaning in, throwing those counter shots, but Lewis Richardson is looking sharp himself. Sort of about, I suppose, you really nice like to see stylistically some clean Chris shots and saw a couple of these yesterday kind of reminds you of the old amateur days this yeah <laughs> this is the style of boxing you know I quite like you know, something's about speed and precision sort of a uh, pre-2008 era perhaps and it was about point scoring so uh, Good first round from Ben Whitaker. Lewis Richardson by, out, by no means out of it. How did you see those first few minutes? I like what we're seeing from Whitaker. It's class act in there. Pretty composed as well. Just level of maturity for someone of 18 years of age to be boxing at this level. And uh, showing the, the sort of ring craft that he is it just makes you wonder what we will see when this young man turns into the full-blown package at sort of 22 23 years of age he really could be something and given he's so tall presumably as he gets a bit older he'll fill out as well so we could see him moving up even higher, you know even higher in weight and then some more power might come with it but he's been moving well around Richardson see Whitaker there just pouring away that lead jab of Richardson as he comes in. He's been 
Michael Whitaker. He's got a long reach and fast hands too. A nightmare combination. So it's patient from both boxes in the only part of this second round. Nice combination from Whitaker. Again, both men really wanting to counter punch and wanting to wait for their opponent to throw first. And that was good from Richardson. Just drew the lead right hand and then countered with the left backhand of his own. And it is still relatively cagey stuff from both of these men. It sense a lot of respect in there between the pair. Yeah, absolutely. better from Whitaker just led with the right check to him this morning and uh, he said he had a relatively easy semi-final was uh, pretty much going through the motions and so he certainly saved plenty in the tank and was fresh and ready to go this morning and as you mentioned the same could be said for all of the competitors this afternoon some had grueling semi-finals and all have had long waits for weigh-ins and waiting to compete so been a luxury that everyone's had to enjoy but Whitaker class has gotten through the early rounds and hopefully we see the best of him which is a little bit careless there just lunging in yeah no, no, Whitaker just to take a step back that Richardson miss and Whitaker tried to counter that was a nice counter jab from Whitaker Plenty of support for Lewis Richardson. And he's caught a solid right hand there as he spins round. Whisker just thumps him on the lower back, and the referee will just say no more of that. Yeah, we need to be careful with things like that. You don't want indiscipline to undo your good work. Well, it's the sort of contest that must needs a few rounds to develop. Quite well, I'd like to watch it over seven or eight, really. Unfortunately, we won't get the luxury. Yeah, each just been taking their time, looking for the shots they need, holding out the lead hands, just trying to, you know, win a, you know, a mini battle of the jabs within the wider contest. Well, Ben Whitaker looking calm and composed on a Oxford University scholarship 18 years of age so he'll be off there well the oxford university amateur boxing club sort of sponsor him and help him out with his travel up to the english institute of sport where he trains with the well, the england development squad he gets to use the great the same the exact same facilities that the elite gb boxers all use and i'm supposed to train in that sort of company as well will uh will do him absolutely no end of good over the next couple of years so so around to go between these two and Lewis Richardson has got ideas of his own to spoil the party he steps forward remember that right hand lead that's a sharp right hand lead from Whitaker again it's back to that patient conundrum who will throw first who will commit again a sharp right hand lead from Whitaker don't underestimate how difficult it is to land with a right hand lead, perhaps slightly easier against the southpaw to the stance and the angle of the body. But nonetheless, it takes confidence, precision, and great hand speed to throw and land that lead right. And Whitaker has done on several occasions, just slips away from a one two from Lewis Richardson and then goes to work on the inside as they lock up. And the referee warns Lewis Richardson just for the last time to stop holding, so one more infringement could see. A, uh, a point deduction. And that's one thing. If you're in a clinch like that, at least the boxer who's swinging punches that will be landing or doing anything, but they're showing to the referee that he's not the one holding. They're meant to signal that he's the one who's trying to fight. Equally, you don't want to hit someone on the back when they've, when they've spun around. A nice uh, 
long right hand again to the body that time from Whitaker. And it's not been a, a destructive bout, it's not been a particularly high tempo. It's been exemplary in the levels of skill. I think that right hand was a bit low from Whitaker, and rightly Lewis Richardson protests to the referee. But I'm sure that was entirely deliberate. Such as the darting motion, which these guys are moving in and out of the pocket. And that was nice from Whitaker. Richardson responded. It's just getting a bit wild now, Richardson. Starting to miss more. The way Whitaker's uh, able to sort of sharply land, pull the head back, and then land the shot in response is. Uh, takes timing a bit beyond his years to be honest and it's impressive stuff right. Richardson lands a nice shot there and Richardson looks tall himself so maybe he's not used to coming up against a boxer at middleweight who's even taller than he is Whitaker picked up on his shoulder there referee the referee is now sending the boxers to the neutral corner he's going over to Lewis Richardson, who got a nick under the left eye, I think. Yes, he has. Too, uh, too deep, it looks like, although they have called up the ringside physician who will just assess this. Of course, we, we spoke earlier. The one place you do want to have a cut is below the eye, because, of course, the blood can only run down the cheek. It might not taste great, but uh, ultimately, it's not going to impede your vision. And that's the key to being able to continue in about but uh, the doctor had a look at it from from a distance and said no need to deliberate and they continue now Whitaker gets back to boxing he's now on the back foot again leading with that right hand bringing Richardson on to some shots and good footwork from him as well Better from Whitaker starting to up the ante now, landing a few more shots. Nice mutual respect shown between the two boxes. And go over to their opposite corners. 